All right, I think we're broadcasting. <laughs> Man, I think we melted the internet there. Yeah, that was insane. Sorry, we uh, uh, actually doing this from uh, David Sachs' Twitter account uh, because uh, it looks like doing it from mine basically <laughs> broke the Twitter system. Yeah, I mean, so uh, Governor DeSantis, uh, can are you there? Can you hear us? I think you broke. I'm right, here. I know. I think I think you broke the internet there. So, uh, congrats on uh, on breaking the internet there. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. You, I mean, try some you know new things. So you're you're gonna. Yes. Uh, it's adventurous, so yes. Uh, I, I guess I should turn it over to um, yeah. Well, yeah. let's see. So, yeah, Governor, there's been a lot of speculation over the last couple of months about your your plans. Um, I understand that you may have an announcement to make. Uh, you know, the, probably the biggest uh, room that's probably ever been assembled online. I, what what would you like to tell them? Well, I am running for president of the United States to lead our great American comeback. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. I'm Anna, and you're watching Anna Speaks Out. Thanks for being here. So Ron DeSantis broke the internet, if you didn't catch that, with his Twitter announcement that he is running for president. Uh, this is not a surprise to anyone, I don't think, but it is official now. And people, of course, have mixed reviews on it. As far as I am concerned, it seems like DeSantis has been doing pretty good things for the people of Florida as long as he's been governor. As far as having to do with how he handled COVID-19 and uh, things to do with transgenders and sports and all that type of thing. Seems like things are going pretty well for the people of Florida. But whether or not he genuinely believes in what he's doing and would stick with it if he were to become president is yet to be seen. And also a conspiracy theory um, that I have thought could be plausible is what if he were doing all these things in order to attract a certain type of people to Florida and then at one point things are going to switch around for the worse. So that's always a possibility. But let's see what his campaign video looks like. Our border is a disaster. Crime infests our cities. The federal government makes it harder for families to make ends meet and the president flounders. But decline is a choice. Success is attainable, and freedom is worth fighting for. Riding the ship requires restoring sanity to our society, normalcy to our communities, and integrity to our institutions. Truth must be our foundation, and common sense can no longer be an uncommon virtue. In Florida, we proved that it can be done. We chose facts over fear, education over indoctrination, law and order over rioting and disorder. We held the line when freedom hung in the balance. We showed that we can and must revitalize America. We need the courage to lead and the strength to win. I'm Ron DeSantis, and I'm running for president to lead our great American comeback. So, you know, I agree with the things that he said in that video. They sounded good. But like I said, uh, you know, he's a politician and you can never really know how genuine any politician is. So you just have to wait and see what happens, see if he even gets elected president or not, or gets installed as president, as some people might uh, refer to a lot of presidents throughout history as having been installed rather than elected. But, of course, there were plenty of people on Twitter who were against DeSantis and don't like him at all. And I thought we would read some of those reviews just for fun. Some guy named Scott Dorgan. <laughs> Sounds a little bit like Scott Dorgan. <laughs> said, breaking, Ron DeSantis, who should be banned from the White House grounds, is announcing his bound to fail run for president tomorrow. DeSantis passed some of the most hateful, asinine, and ignorant laws in the country, and he's losing his battle with Mickey Mouse. I guess Mickey Mouse, what, oh, okay, never mind, because they did something with Disney World. DeSantis should never be president. He shouldn't even hold elected office. Sounds a lot like uh, Joe Biden. 
Let's see who this guy is. Scott Dworkin. Democratic Coalition. Journalist, investigator, writer, musician, Obama alum. Resistance forever. It's so hilarious when people who are declared Democrats um, say that they're part of some type of resistance because they're just so, so establishment. It's pretty funny. So Leslie Abravanel has a very sad, angry looking uh, photo of DeSantis. And she said, Ron DeSantis rewrote Florida law so he could run for president without having to resign to run. We deserve a governor who puts Florida first. Seems like he has been. Fight back. Volunteer or donate to your local Democratic Party. Democratic Party, surprise, surprise, at floridadems.org. Let's stop DeSantis right now. I'm not sure what he rewrote. You are a photo of John Wayne says, You are lying. Governors don't write or pass law. Legislators do. You are tweeting to influence leftists who smoked dope in middle school and failed civics. <laughs> and then somebody's coming back with, uh, you know, something about Biden. Said, my son married his brother's widow. That's pretty sad. Cheated on, cheated on her with a stripper and got that stripper pregnant. He refuses to pay child support, but I like to go around talking about how immoral Donald Trump is pretty funny princess popsicles and chris says the people who lied about russia collusion the steel dossier and hunter biden's laptop are worried you will spread misinformation or disinformation i don't know what's supposed to be the difference between miss and dis i think one of them's supposed to be like you did it by accident tim pool the first person who i actually recognize who i used to listen to but haven't in a long time ron DeSantis, great policy strong action impressive Character and charisma, character and charisma, however, is lacking. I know he can do it. He needs some media training. Okay. Well, stay tuned and we'll see how this all plays out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like this video, share it out. Make sure that you're subscribed because YouTube likes to unsubscribe people against their will. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.